first Invitational World Cup brought the world's finest gymnasts together again for the first time since the 1968 Olympics. Eizo Kenmotsu and Akanori Nakayama of Japan, Maono Nissanen, Finland, Canada's Teresa McDonald and Jennifer Dyeshin, representing the United States, Joyce Tanek and Kathy Rigby, Cheiko Oda, Japan, from Yugoslavia, Natalia Slepic and Miroslav Sarar. For the U.S., Dave Thor and Steve Hug. The previous night, Hug won the 1969 USGF Men's All-Around Championship with a brilliant performance such as this one on the rings. Going into the World Cup, he was the leading U.S. threat against the great Nakayama of Japan. But in the first event, he fractured his elbow. He was out of the meet. The fans, his fellow gymnasts, everyone felt the same. Without hug, U.S. hopes for an all-around cup now rode heavily on little Kathy Rigby. She was the highest point getter on the U.S. women's Olympic team and at 16 has earned more points in world competition than any other American woman gymnast. And here's Nakayama. Three gold medals in the 1968 Olympics. Considered the finest male gymnast in the world today. A high V support, the Japanese are famous for this. That handstand is on his fingertips. Dismounts with a full twisting back somersault. Joyce Tannock on the uneven bars. U.S. Olympian in 1968, 1969 USGF All-Around Champion, and 1969 AAU All-Around Champion. Nice handstand pirouette. Bounce to a seat support and backflip off, being congratulated by her coach, George Lewis. Maono Nissanen, 1968 Olympian from Finland, now a student at the University of Washington, won the 1969 NCAA All-Around Championship earlier this year. Little loss of balance there will cost Maono a tenth of a point. Layout backflip for his dismount. Cheiko Oda on the unevens. Japan's number one woman gymnast. She works very quickly. Full twisting hecht dismount. This is Sarar from Yugoslavia, long a favorite in this country, consistent medal winner in the Olympics, just a great gymnast.
an Arabian dive roll into a head spring. That's how Hug fractured his elbow. Straddle down and straddle up shows strength and flexibility, both important in the floor exercise event. Cheiko Oda on the balance beam. The beam is only four inches wide and they must use all 16 feet of it. little bobble in her balance there. Coming out of a leap like that, the penalty will be minimum. Front somersault for a dismount. Kathy Rigby on the beam. Straight arm, straight leg, pressed to a handstand. Extremely difficult, especially for a girl. Some of her teammates on the Southern California Acro team, better known as the Scats, rated the finest women's team in the world. Ken Motsu of Japan on the parallel bars. In the 1968 Olympics, he won both a silver and a bronze medal placed fourth in the all-around. Press to a handstand, meets the strength requirement. Nice back somersault off, Joyce Tannock on the beam. one-arm handstand. Very few girls in the world can hold a one-arm handstand. Wouldn't dare try it on a balance beam. One arm back walk over. Whoops, she had to put the other hand down to save it. Dave Thor coming up for the long horse vault. He was the top male gymnast on the U.S. Olympic team in 1968. Piked front handspring over the long horse. Exceptional vault. Sarar next up in the vault. And here's Sarar in his specialty. He's a three-time gold medal winner on the side horse in world competition. Slight break, touching his leg there. Cost him about three-tenths of a point. Kathy Rigby, floor exercise.
This is Ken Motsu on the horizontal bar. A rear fault. German giant swing. Shoot to inverted giants. And a full twisting heck dismount, superlative performance. Joyce Tannock. Dave Thor of the U.S. Double flyaway, but he overspun it. The national women's champion of Yugoslavia, 1968 Olympian, Natalia Slepic. Quite a formal style, somewhat somber. Nissanen. cast into a front somersault, very difficult finish. Miss Oda of Japan. Petite, light tumbling style.
and motsu on the rings. This is the most underrated move in gymnastics, a front up rise on the rings, extremely difficult. The iron cross required in this event. And a full twisting flyaway. Nice fault by Miss Sluggage. But when it was over, Kathy Rigby had won the women's all-around World Cup for the United States. And Akinori Nakayama took the men's all-around cup home to Japan. For Steve Hug, out with his injured elbow, well, there's always next year. <laughs>